All right. Well, we have got some very interesting guests that have come and joined us in the studio, Charlotte. Uh, well, Kylie and Jackie, thank you so much for coming into the studio with us to share what what big event you've got coming up this summer, which whew, we're, we're going to this one. Yeah, most Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Everyone's going. Yeah. Yes. And it's not just this event that you do. You do amazing things for the region, Bay Plenty region, specifically Kati Kati, which we'll, ca- we'll, we'll dig into really soon. But first, I'm going to just kind of throw it straight at you. And we've cooked up a brand new feature which I can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Charlotte, what is this feature called? Say After Me. Say oh, After okay. Me. Okay, so this is how it works. Okay, so Kylie, Jackie, you can pick whoever you want to answer this question. You can tag team it, whatever you want to do. Don't worry, it's not too crazy. However, Charlotte is going to start off the statement. You have to repeat that statement and then finish it off with your answer. All good? Okay. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, pretty yeah. future. I remember right. a drinking game like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here we go. All right. Here we go. So the first statement is, my favorite place for food in the Bay is? My favorite place for food in the Bay is Mount Mulanui. Because, I know, oh, I know. Oh, I did you know there. Did that? she? Oh, yeah, you're welcome to know. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's yours. <laughs> For me personally, because I've had some great experiences, because it's the walking of, of multiple areas that I can go to at the same time, so I get to tr- enjoy different, different, uh, flavors. different flavors. What about you? Yeah. Oh, well, I'd yeah. say Cassie Cassie, <laughs> yeah. Talisman Hotel, thanks for coming. Best place out. There we beautiful, go. beautiful food. And so what would be your, your pick of something that you'd eat there? Oh, well, I was there for dinner last mm. night, actually. Where are you? Yes, yeah. seafood chowder to die for. Really, really nice. I was going to say you only need the small one. You know, you can have a big one, but the small one's adequate for dinner. A couple of bits of bread. Got mussels in there, big chunks of fish. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. Okay, number two. If I have one day to explore Katy Katy, I would? Oh, if I had one day to explore Katy Katy, I would go bush because it's got the most amazing bush walks up there. You can do short ones like 20 minutes up to a cowrie tree, really big cowrie tree with a board walk around it and stuff, or you can do... The Lindemann Loop, which is like a three and a half, four hour loop through beautiful bush, or you can just whack up one of the side roads, north south track, over to the Waikato. Mm. Heaps and heaps of choices of what to do. Beautiful bush, really beautiful bush. Mm. Awesome, sold. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, number three. Catty Catty's best secret is. Oh. Katy Katy's mm-hmm. best secret is, I'm going to say, the Western Bay Museum. Ooh. Because it is the Western Bay's only museum. It's small and boutique. It works in really closely with Te Papa in Wellington. They've got huge support. It's held up in high regard throughout the small museums in New Zealand. It's just had the giant squid exhibition in there from Te Papa, and they've got another Te Papa um, exhibition coming up. So, yeah, definitely worth a stop in Katy Katy. Awesome. I love it. Okay. Okay, number four. The top three reasons you need to be at the next avocado and wine festival. Well, I will take that one. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'll hand that over to you. (laughs) That's fine. Uh, definitely the musicians. Uh, that's one one thing that I would say there. Um, they are all very excited to be part of this festival, um, knowing that it is in Katikati and being quite a sort of local area for them to travel because they're not all travelling from um, too far from each other to, to get to the venue. Um, family event, friendly event, so you are going to be able to enjoy the fact that your kids are there with you. It is a 12 to 6 event, so you have the afternoon to, you know, do whatever you need to with your kids afterwards, but there is always entertainment there for them. Um, and also the food vet and alcohol vendors as well. That's that's just a, a biggie. We've got roughly around 60 vendors that are going to be on site with us, So, and they love the day. So um, it's, it's just a, a, a really fun summer vibe. That is safe and and you know enjoyable for everyone to enjoy. So those are three good reasons. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the final statement. <sighs> My favorite destination spot in the Bay of Plenty. 
I'm going to take it. Yeah. Okay. For me. <laughs> it might be the same. It could be. Well, mine's not I don't know. No. <laughs> Reading your yeah. mind. Uh, Waihi Beach oh, for me. Yay. Yay. There we go. Um, uh, being that I'm a beach person and I love, I love bush as well, but being that I'm a beach person, being able to come home to that coastal fresh uh microclimate just just love the ocean the water the yeah everything about that so something about being close to the the water isn't it the ocean yeah yeah it's like something about it it's very grounding yeah yeah and there's some walks there's a filter um yeah at the end of Waihi beach you can go over to uh, uh, orakawa bay Mm -hmm. and then if you're adventurous you go on to homanga but you walk along there and you think you could be anywhere in the world. And it's yeah. just stunning. Looking out to Mare Island, it's just beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Really, really good for your soul. Yeah. We live in a magical place. Mm. Yeah. And uh, like you said, we are blessed mm. to be living in this uh, this, this, this awesome spot. It, it, the region itself, yeah, just stunning. So let's talk a little bit more now about mm. Kati Kati and Catch. Because, yeah, yeah what, what is Catch? <laughs> Well, a lot of people think we're a fishing organisation, <laughs> but we're not. Okay. Um, and so we've been around since 2006. Okay. We started as the Main Street Promotion sort of organisation. Um, I joined in 2010. We used to do some small events like retail promotions in St. Patrick's or Easter or whatever. Um, and then, oh, sorry, <laughs> we did a, um, we do a Christmas in the Park event with the Lion Santa Parade. Uh, then we decided to branch out a little bit and promote more of the whole Katikati district rather than just sort of the, the CBD ooh, as much as that is. Um, so, yeah, we branched into doing some more community development things. So we worked with Co- so, bleh, Council on Cycleways and Walkways mm. and the White Koe Koe Recreational Reserve, which yeah. is the, the mountain bike, horse riding, walking, mm. swimming, hold, dog-friendly beautiful beautiful bush at the bottom you do have to walk down the hill to get to the swimming holes but then we've got to walk back up again um but beautiful bush and through there it's just yeah definitely worth the trip and because it's dog friendly it's it's really great um so we work on those sorts of projects and we do other events we work in with the tauranga jazz festival and hold a street party out there um so yeah we're just sort of there to help the community if we see a gap we try and plug it we, um, when council built the new uh, library and service centre out there, we put an expression of interest in for the then current building, and um, we were successful. So we turned it into what we call the arts junction. Oh. So it's got a little meeting room. It's got the visitor information centre. It's got a retail space where we sell locally made product and produce. Cool. It's got an art gallery um, that changes that exhibition every three or four weeks. And then we've got a boutique cinema theatre space. So it's multi-purpose, seats 36, got the chandelier, got Ooh. the velvet curtains, yes. got Red. the big comfy seats. That's the real deal. It's the real cool. deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's the home for the Kati Kati Folk Club. They've got a, a gig every month. The Kati Kati Theatre Group do a production a couple of times a year. There's a youth theatre. Um, different groups use it for... Um, private functions or movie screenings or birthday parties or presentations. So it's it's busy. It's we get over thirty five thousand people through the doors a year. Wow. So yeah, it's it's well used. Well used. You've got to be careful when you walk in because in the in between the two doorways when you walk in there's a three D mural. So it looks like you're walking over a broken oh, um, cool. what's it wooden, wooden uh, yeah, yeah, bridge. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so you've got to take your be careful when you come in. And it's funny because some people walk in going <laughs> you see the kids. <laughs> 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 but it takes a great photo, and it's of the view is overlooking Katikati and the Kaimai, so that's where the bridge is swinging. So awesome. it's worth coming out just to look at our painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we were talking before we got into the studio about all the community groups that you guys have in the region. So like yeah. that's a lot. Was did you say like seventy or yeah, something? About yeah. seventy. Yeah, and and part of that is because I think part of it is because we've got such a high percentage of retired people who are really active still in the community. Mm. So. Um, you can do sports, um, there's karate, there's mahjong, there's um, tai chi, there's bowls, there's croquet, um, yeah, there's uh, and there's special interest groups, U3A's yeah. just set up out there, they've got heaps of different Writing talks. Zumba. And, yeah, <laughs> the list yeah. goes on. It's just yeah. crazy. It's crazy. There's a lot going on there. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you hear in the feedback from people. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we get a lot of people that have retired to, like from Auckland or whatever, come down and retired, and they're like, there's so much to do. And the other thing they say is we're so friendly. 
Because mm. we kind of know. You walk down the street and because you know sort of like half of the people there, yeah. you just say hello to everyone. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're just a friendly lot. It's how many, also, how many like people live there? Oh, about four and a half thousand in the town. Right. And about nine thousand in the district. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Kylie, what were you going to say? I was going to say, it's an active community. So mm. if like a, if a person comes in and says, I don't see that there's a group with doing this, mm. they might seek some advice from us to say, how can I start one? Like Pickleball. Yeah, and now yeah, there's yeah. a new oh, Pickleball. Okay, I know <laughs> someone else <laughs> that's doing, wants to do something like that. We'll introduce you to them and then they start the yeah. groups and we help advertise if, if need be. Or mm. So if someone's yeah. curious that uh, might be in in. Katikati or maybe just on the outskirts or even, you know, in the Bay of Plenty region, they want to find out what is actually going on. Is there a space where they can go and have a yeah. look? Yeah, well, we've got we've got a Katikati website and Facebook page. We also, um, if you go on to the Katikati website, you can sign up to our e-newsletter and we have an e-newsletter cool. that goes out every Friday that lists everything that we know of that's yeah. happening just within Katikati. Mm. Um, and it reaches something like 1,900 people. It's got a really good reach on it. It's mm. it's well regarded. People are like, oh, I saw in the catch-up. We call it the Friday catch-up. Yeah. Um, you know, this or that or whatever. So, yeah, no, that's how they know what's going on. Or generally come into the information centre and they'll yeah. see yeah. it all in, in that section there. They'll see what's happening in town, so... Okay, we've got a brand new feature now. Uh, I just, just made this one up. <laughs> okay. So we've known each other for probably like, you know, maybe an hour. And uh, we're having a chat before. Uh, what uh, what do you think I should do as a like activity with one of the ones that you guys know of that happened in the region that you think would be, that I would enjoy? All right. Well, I... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon... <laughs> I'll just take this one. Uh, I wonder if we'll get the same as what I was thinking. Um, well, we've got Leverett Estate, Leverett Mills Estate out there, so you can come out and do a little wine tour. Okay. Yeah, we've got a new avocado um, orchard tour, so you can go and Ooh. learn all about avocados because we are the avocado capital of New Zealand. Yes. Um, and Tim is amazing. He'll tell you all about how the avocados grow, what they do. He makes the best guacamole around, so Ooh. you get to buy avocado mm-hmm. merchandise, bit of food tasting. Yeah. So that's really good. You've got to come and see us at the information centre because we'll tell you where to go. We can give yeah. you a map of the murals and art. There's like over seventy eight pieces of art in our open air art gallery, which I claim to be the biggest open air art gallery in New Zealand, and no one's told me it's not yet. So <laughs> We're going that <laughs> Um, but it's all out there. You just wander around and look at all the different pieces of art and mural and everything. So it's great. Okay, cool. I reckon Kylie was going to say, Brutus, you should be doing the Zumba. <laughs> all right. Yep, I'll put you in contact. Four o'clock at Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after the, the white tasting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, they can provide the transport if you need to <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> Nice. So, uh, avocado capital of New Zealand. Yep. Uh, what else? There's like a few little other things that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Katakati's well, known for. Yeah, we're known for our murals, obviously. Mm. So, yes. Mural Town, New Zealand. First mural town in New Zealand. Official, yes. Officially, Signed first off. done yep. since 1990. Thank you for coming. Yep. And, of course, the gateway to the Bay of Plenty. Ta da! You drive out of that Karangahaki, not Karangahaki, Athenry Gorge, to see the harbour in front of you. Beautiful. Yeah, it's it just like, oh. Home. Yeah. So we both said it. Home. Home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Didn't even rehearse it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, I mean, it sounds like you're both super busy with, like, really trying to, like, add the colour and vibrancy into this beautiful town mm. and area. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Um, we are known as the ones that are the the sort of the vibrant, giggly. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, here's the happy girls. Yes. You know, in council Last to leave the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those ones. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I think we are passionate. Um, I went to college in Katakati. Mm. My family's lived there since the late seventies. Uh, returned back in two thousand and ten to live out at Waihi Beach, but. Um, yeah, Katakati is really close to my heart. I love the area. I love the people. I think it's great. And it's, you know, like it's to half an hour on a good day to Tauranga. Mm. It's not far from Hamilton, Rotorua, Auckland, yeah. beaches, bushwalks. Mate, it's all there. there. It's a good spot. It's yeah. a great yeah. spot. It's yeah. a great yeah. spot. Yeah. And it's got us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Jackpot. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come see us. <laughs> so that kind of brings us on to uh, the next big summer event you guys are doing. Mm. We've actually, we went to the last one, right? Yep, we did. We took the clan with us, the kids, and um, yeah, it was an absolutely beautiful day, just like today, not a cloud in the sky. 
Um, I'm pretty sure as soon as we arrived, we got into some mini pot mm-hmm. and uh, quickly whipped up an appetite for mm-hmm. some hot dogs. Um, there was definitely a lot of amazing food to choose from, so mm. next time we're oh, going to have please. to get stuck into some of that. Some questionable uh, dance moves. Yes. <laughs> they had a couple, I had a sore knee, you know. Yeah. It was like, oh, it was right yeah, in the front. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why I didn't do Zumba. <laughs> Loosen up a bit, eh? Yeah. But we're so, all having a bit of a family dance, eh? Mm. Yeah, probably, maybe, potentially embarrassing the kids a little bit. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's the fun of it. Yeah. Exactly. It's our job. Yeah. And uh, there was some circus entertainment, mm-hmm. which uh, we all got involved in, mm-hmm. and apparently you are a professional hula hoopist. I oh, am. That's go. why Zumba and me should be <laughs> together. Yeah. I won. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, the hips don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> So it was, yeah, it was an absolutely awesome day all round for everyone. Mm. Um, so I guess the big question is, what can we expect for the next one? Ooh, drum roll. <laughs> yeah. Well, this next one is this, it's sort of similar concept, It's but with what we're bringing in is we're bringing in more musical acts this year. So uh, as opposed to having the three acts that we have generally, we'll bring in, we're bringing in the fourth act, which is now released as Catch a Fire as our main. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Yeah. Very right. happy to have. Um, That's huge. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's been a, it's been a journey um, working through that whole process, but we are absolutely stoked to release that they're, they're coming on board. You kind of think these big musical acts within New Zealand coming to Kati Kati, well, it just shows we we can do something like yeah. that, even though it might be seen to the region as a smaller community area. Well, actually, we can bring big mm. to um, to our area, and it's just supported like so nicely. And and hearing the community talk about the fact that we've got this big act coming on board, it's just it's awesome. So. Bring it on the day. That's yeah. what I say. So early bird tickets. Go. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so people are excited. Obviously, I did see the drop about Catch a Fire uh, being the, the main act as well. You've got some other amazing acts that are performing Absolutely. Too, right? Local um, blues band Kokomo is um, coming on board with us, which is really, really cool. Um, mm. they're, yeah, they're a great way to start yeah. start yeah. the They've act. Good following. Yeah, fun have. fact. Fun yeah. fact. Yeah. Hey, you want to tell this one? The, the music video that we were meant to be in? Yeah. Again, dance moves might have been this dodgy movie. <laughs> here, but we're trying Zumba. to slide on into the old uh, music video that they yeah. were filming. And I think they uh, axed it. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> oh, I thought I, we were on fire. I don't know. I think we ruined it. Okay, okay. okay let's, no, no, let's let's not this next at the Abbo Fest. <laughs> yeah. We're going to see if we can try and get this done. And then we'll see if we can get to you guys uh, on video. I promise them. I can dance. Or up on right. stage. <laughs> 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 So we've got them there. So they're, they're Kokomo, performing. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they're going to start the day off with us, which is uh, which is a perfect way to jump in it. And then we're going to jump into Tiki. Nice. So it's going to it's sort of like a bit of a, a mix and mingle mm. of how music's going to be for the day. So oh. um, Tiki's going to do an hour act with us, and it's which will be awesome. I just can't wait to see him on stage. And then yep. we're jumping into Whitechapel Jack yes. afterwards. So. Um, if people don't know about Whitechapel Jack, they just bring a vibe in themselves, yeah. and they they are just cool and funky, and um, I just love the way that they jump around and get the crowds get the crowds going, and then we jump into some reggae, some Kiwi summer tunes, which is mm. so it's just bringing a different genre or a different sort of type of music for to cater for everybody. Yeah, it's not just sort of the one day. There's a lot of lot of stuff to it, and the entertainment. Yep. Speaking of the entertainment sense, it feels like you guys have just leveled up year on yeah. year with this. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. getting better and better. Yeah. Wait till 2026. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Jackie's well, actually, yeah, got some ideas. <laughs> we have leveled up. That's that's the thing. Before my time, from when talking to Jackie and talking to the Funfest Charitable Trust, that it's gone from potential DJ type mm. vibes to now having four and acts that are, mm. you know, doing international tours at the moment. And mm. so it's, it's yeah, come a long way. Mm. And um, and it's, yeah, just an awesome day. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I've been to a few in my time. I've been like right at the start uh, when they, they, they kind of, in the beginning, uh, we went last year at the Sizzler, I loved it. Uh, and I, I noticed that it's like there's a lot of awesome people that go there. There's a community that go in behind it. There's lots of families that are there, which is quite cool. Uh, now, I'm thinking that there's going to be a whole lot of new people that are going to be attracted to this event for the 
probably for the first time to, to go along. So how many people actually go along to the, the day and, and enjoy it? Last year we drew it about three and a half thousand. Wow. So um, yeah, so we, we can cater to like 5,000. Wow. Uh, if we wanted to go bigger, we could, but we like the fact that it's kept at, um, at the space and the, and the amount of people that we have on site. So yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's not, it's not just following. about the, it's yeah. not just yeah. about the it's, entertainment yeah, too. It's that's it. Food. Oh, there's yeah. food and there's an entertainment for the kids. There's the ki- cooking kitchen. We've got Brad um, from the Fool's Retreats mm. doing his um, day in the kitchen, showing how he makes these um, uh, entrees, mains, desserts and, yeah. and the things. And, and he gives advice to people and they get to sit down and watch him. And then sample what he's had. Yeah, that's so. Whatever he cooks, he does enough portions for everyone to have a little taste of it. Yeah, Mm -hmm. using avocado is the main, not the main thing, but definitely using avocados in there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. It's it's so much so much going on there, isn't it? Because we we walked around a few times, and like every time we did the loops, you're like, oh, okay, I I missed that. You know. So many food trucks, like, and lots of yummy food there as well. As I say, something something like. 60 vendors on site um, yeah. that will cater for every type of something that people would like. We look at when we're bringing in vendors, we look at, um, we don't try not to double up. We try not to. Sometimes it happens, but mm. and that's just the nature of, of events like that. But we kind of try and cater for every um, everything that's there. So. Mm. I remember last year, and I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I got the name of the the spot was like the Banger Bros. I think it might have been that little yeah. bit of hot dogs. Banger Boys. Banger Boys. Banger yeah. Boys. Yeah. And so it was so good. I asked the guy if I could have a photo with him. It was like, oh. <laughs> it was like <laughs> he was like, well, you like my hot dog, man? I, like, I yeah. love your hot dog, man. So can I get a photo? So it was yeah. like, yeah, just mm. lots of real amazing food there, yeah. and yeah. there's so much to try. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. And yes. even even little avocados you can take away if you feel yeah. Oh, that's it. I know. And this yeah. year, DMS, um, who supplied the avocados last year, are bringing more mm. avocados, mm. more because they felt like there weren't enough. So, um, that's really cool. But we encourage everyone to come themed as an avocado. Yeah. Oh, we want the it's the avocado festival. True. It's celebrating avocados. So let's see your avocado hat, shirt. Shorts, Sounds whatever. Sounds good. Oh. Get them like it. We won't. We'll, 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 oh. we'll be a practical working boy. <laughs> a high vis avocado. <laughs> 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 we talk to the vendors about that as well, like theming and stuff. If you can bring in something that might um, be inspired, like an avocado cocktail or something like that, then if, if you're into wanting to trials and sample and do something, then we're, we're all open for it for the day. And yeah. same with vendors. If, if avocado ice cream or anything to celebrate the fruit. Mm. Yeah, nice. Super fruit. Super fruit. It is. It's yeah. good for you as well. It's yeah. Super, yeah, super good yeah. for you too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I'm starting to get excited about this. Yeah. Uh, we're certainly going to need to organise ourselves tickets to, to book that one out. And if mm. other people, I'm sure, they just that now all the lineup is being announced, mm. all the beautiful yep. food, yep. drinks, yep. atmosphere and vibe, the cool thing is, with, and I love this because, you know, getting a little bit old now, is that Ooh. the timeline of, of the event, you know, it's like, you know, early afternoon mm. to kind of early evening, yep. you get to have some fun and then, you know, you can get back home in the time of the afternoon. I don't feel like it's the bedtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, yeah. you know, $59, which the yeah. tickets are now, where can you go and see Catch a Fire for $59? Not to mention the other three the other as three well. Amazing. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's, a, it's an effort to keep it value for money. Mm. And I yeah. think that, yeah, that just, yeah, yeah. It's Being it, we're too not cheap. for profit. That's what it's about. Is be, about being able to create an atmosphere or, or a, 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 a gathering for the community and broader community to come t- mm. together and mm. celebrate. Um, so that's mm. why. Oh well, uh, we appreciate you guys coming to the studio to share this, the amazing things you do. Not just the Avo Fest, but what you actually do for our region. It's mm. super important. You know, it's not just about the likes of the Mount Maunganui's, the Tauranga and Papa Mile. There's other beautiful gems that sit inside the Bay of Plenty region. Kati Kati is one of them. Yeah, and we're not far away. No, no it's, it's like no. I could, yeah. you know, yeah, 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 just there. There. yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, you know, it's a, a place to explore, to go and enjoy. Yeah. And then with the yep. beautiful event on in summertime, what an awesome reason to go out there and just explore mm. it a little bit mm. more. Go, go there nice and early. Yeah. Have a look at some of the, the art and the museums yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a market on in the morning, so you can come over, go to the market in the main street, 
then head out to the Ammo Fest. Cool. I do want to say at the Ammo Fest, though, there is transport coming from um, Tauranga, Waihi Beach, Waihi. We're putting on transport to be able to help those that don't want to travel. So there you go. Nice. There are options there as well. Cool. For all the details, we'll drop them in the description for tickets, all that kind of stuff and everything we've had a chat about here so people can go and have a bit of a look. Mm-hmm. Go and dig in to catch. We're not about like reeling in fish. No, no. We're reeling in people to come and enjoy yeah. uh, Kati Kati, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. The gateway. To the Bay of Plenty. To the Bay of Plenty. And look, uh, with me and Charlotte and probably maybe the kids, we might invite them this time. Maybe. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't boot us out. Okay? <laughs> if you see us doing some funky moves, oh, we're not stage. intoxicated. It's just a way of dance. Don't call the police. You like a stage? <laughs> just All right. Like we'll keep an eye out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, these guys don't want to go stage. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, it's thanks, been thanks, a pleasure. Thanks. It's been a pleasure. I absolutely love the vibe. Get out to Kati Kati. That's all yeah. I can say. Exactly.